Welcome to Ocean Technology Systems. We at OTS would like to thank you for your interest in the Guardian full face mask. We've combined years of experience into the development of the Guardian and we consider it to be the finest full face mask on the market today. This quick start guide is another tool to help you safely learn how to dive a Guardian full face mask. It's not a substitute for reading the manual and you certainly want to spend some time with a qualified instructor. Now let's go over a few points. Okay, now to set up a hose on a regulator, it's a simple matter of just screwing the regulator hose on. Screw on finger tight first. Now, each mask comes with a backup wrench, and this backup wrench goes on to the regulator here at the base, and then you want to take your other wrench for the hose itself, and you want to tighten this up. Now, to get official with it, it's about 55 inch pounds, but just good and snug. Don't over tighten it, just good and snug. The last thing you want to do I should say, the thing you don't want to do is you don't want to take a wrench and just screw it on and tighten it on with a wrench and not have that back up on. Otherwise, you'll damage the regulator. It'll spin on the inside here and the regulator goes out of adjustment and it can cause some damage to it. Okay, now we've got the hose set up on the second stage. Let's go ahead and install it. I've already removed my port plug, uh, low pressure port plug from my first stage. I'm going to screw this on. Now keep in mind that this is a right shoulder hose. Other, other full face masks, one in particular, has a left shoulder hose. We're going to set this up on the right side and we snug this down. So you want to be able to position this to where it will be for the diver's right shoulder and you have a, a good play in the hose and no interference with your other, other hoses. For the pre-dive inspection of the mask and setup, you want to always start at one point. And I generally start with the straps. I want to make sure that all the straps are fully extended. With that, you also want to make sure that any communications you have, be it a buddy phone or as I have here, your microphone assemblies, make sure that they're pulled all the way to the rear. Whenever you go to adjust the straps, if they're not to the rear, what will happen is you'll pull the earphone holders up into the buckles and then they'll bind. So I go around each one of the straps and make sure that they're fully extended. These are. And then I want to check the buckle attachments uh, where the straps attach to the mask itself. There's uh, the lugs here. You want to make sure that they're in good shape and that the buckles are, are properly assembled and all of them are in good shape as this one is. And again, the mask straps are fully extended. Then I want to inspect over the mask. I want to check the frame, check the visor itself, uh, the push to talk assembly of your ear microphone or your buddy phone uh, to make sure that it's, that it's nice and snug and properly in proper position. Also the PTT, make sure that it's in good shape and not torn or damaged. Look over the visor for any scratches, cracks, or other damage. Any scratches on the outside, they're not that big of a deal. Uh, the water will fill those scratches. You'll be hard pressed to notice even a severe scratch. Do protect the inside of the mask uh, from any any scratches, uh, those you may see while you're while you're diving. Then we'll go to the inside of the mask. You want to inspect the, the check valves on the oral nasal pocket. Make sure that the seats are properly seated in the oral nasal pocket itself. Then you also want to make sure that the check valves in the seats are properly seated and that they're laid nice and flat. Also, there's a check valve in the ambient breathing valve. Make sure that it's in good shape. On the inside as well, we have the microphone. Make sure that it's, it's properly positioned off the corner of the mouth. It needs to be you know, right here. When you purse your lips, you should feel that. At a quarter of an inch, you lose about half the volume. So as you see here, the microphone is in, in proper position. You want to make sure that it's properly seated and it's adjusted to what your adjustments are. Again, we're going to get into those in, in detail here shortly. Uh, so give it a good look over. Uh, on the inside of the mask, you'll notice in the where the mic or where the uh, regulator goes that on in the inside that there's a set of springs. Push on the button on the inside. There's a red button on the inside that releases. That's the quick release for the regulator. Make sure that it's in good shape and that it properly functions. You want to take your regulator, snap it into place. It should seat with a, a firm click. And then you want to pull on that and wiggle it to make sure that it doesn't come out and that it's properly seated. You can also, as part of the inspection, make sure that it, it comes out okay. So again, we'll insert that and the mask should be ready to dive at this point. To equalize with the Guardian, we have a rubber V-block that's on the inside and it's mounted. And I've got one here 
mounted on a wire form that's set in here with a pair of screws. Now, each mask comes with a kit, and it comes with an extra wire form, and it comes with extra blocks. It's very important that you take the time and you set it up to your face because everybody's face is different. What works for me is not going to work for you. So take the time and, uh, and get that adjusted correctly. Now, each of the kits comes with a pair of blocks, one that you can put a, uh, uh, an insert on, and they come in different sizes and different thicknesses, and the wire forms are of different heights. So when you figure this out, it, well, what's exactly right for you, or, or at least very close to what's right for you, it should be that this nose block will be resting just under your nostrils. You should still be able to breathe through this. Now to equalize, what you're going to do is you're going to look up, because you want to straighten out your eustachian tubes, you're going to look up and you're going to collapse the mask back onto your face just slightly so that this nose block, or the V-block, engages your nostrils and you can blow against that to equalize. Uh, make sure that when you are equalizing that you're equalizing early and often. The Guardian comes equipped with an ambient breathing valve, or what we call the ABV. This allows you to, uh, to breathe ambient air while you're on the surface, because anytime you put a full face mask on, you're going to be breathing your, your air off out of your tank. So with this, when you open this up, you're breathing outside air. Now it functions pretty much the same as when you have the regulator in place. When you inhale, air comes through the ABV, across the visor, down through the check valves, and then you exhale out through the regulator itself so that the mask is, is defogged while you're wearing that. Now it is important that you close the ABV before you get into the water. Uh, you actually find that if you leave it open and you stay upright in the water column that nothing happens. You may not even notice that you've left it open. But if you pike to, to, to swim down to do your descent or if at any time you invert, put the, the ABV lower in the water column than the second stage regulator, uh, your mask is going to flood. Having a Guardian full face mask should be a pleasant experience, and with proper adjustment, it will be. One of the things that often happens is that somebody over tightens the top strap, and I can't really stress this enough, that you don't want to over tighten the top strap. As a result of over tightening the top strap, you often hear someone say that they suffered from jaw fatigue or that they uh, have the sensation of the mask riding up off of their face. Now we'll go ahead and don the mask. Again, the earphone holders come to the rear. You open up the straps, and we're going to drop the mask down over my head. Now, I'm going to adjust the jaw straps first, the temple strap second. Pretty much forget that top strap. Unless you have a smaller head, you may need to adjust that top strap some just to make sure that the mask is properly seated on your face. Now, for a proper seat of the mask onto your face, your chin has to be positively seated into the, uh, into the chin pocket. The rest of the mask is going to fall where it lays. In other words, if you have a smaller face and, and you can't pull this mask down, leave this open. It needs to be properly seated in at your chin into the chin pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and put the mask on and I'll tighten my straps uh, you know, and you'll, you'll see exactly the, uh, the proper, proper procedure for that. So we drop it on, seat it in, wiggle your face, get a good seat. You want to get a good seat of the seal to your face. And we're going to do the jaw straps first, the temple straps second. Snug them all up, wiggle them, should be nice and comfortable. And then the top strap, if you need a little top strap just to pull this up a little, that's fine. Don't over tighten this top strap. Now you want to verify that you can equalize, and I, I just popped my ears, so that, that's good. And then when we went to uh, do our pre dive, well, before we dive, we want to take our regulator, seat the regulator into position. As with all your dive gear, you want to give it a good freshwater rinse, especially after diving in, uh, in salt water. Make sure your first stage has its dust cap in place. Give it a good freshwater rinse. You can give it a soak, swish it around, soak it for a little bit if you need to, get all the salt crystals out of it. Shake your second stage regulator out, that's your alternate air source your octopus. Now with the Guardian second stage, pretty much the same thing, except you'll notice it does hold a little bit more water. The exhaust, with the exhaust pointing away from you, if you give it a little pitch, shake it until really no more water comes out. And then you can set that, and that's all really it takes. Then you set that off to the side to dry. Now with your full face mask, the same thing. Give it a good, give it a good rinse, give it a good swish in the water. You can soak this for a couple of minutes, a few minutes, maybe up to five, a little more if you need to. 
but no longer than that. The microphone has a hydrophobic membrane on the inside, and that, that membrane can become saturated, and, and it doesn't uh, transfer air anymore, so you want to make sure that you don't saturate that. You have to come waterlogged. Make sure your ABV is open. Get a good rinse through your ABV as well, but you don't want any water trapped in there because it, it could be trapped in there for a good while. Give it a good shake, turn it upside down. You want to uh, drain the water out of the feathers of the seal. It goes for the same in the oral nasal pocket. Shake it out, turn it upside down. You'll notice water moves back and forth with this. Once you get it, uh, it pretty well free of any excess water, then you can take your towel and you can just dry the mask off on the outside. This helps prevent uh, mineral stains or you know water spots. On the inside, I'm going to wipe it out as well. Be careful that you don't wipe the uh, check valves out of the oral nasal pocket. Make sure that the wagon wheels, that's the valve seats that hold the check valves on the inside, don't become dislodged as well. And then the uh, check valve of the ABV, you want to make sure it doesn't come out as well. Give it a good, uh, good wipe out. Again, the water will migrate around it. You'll notice that as you shake it, the water moves around a little bit. So get the water down into the bottom, and you can take your towel and, and cuff that out. Good dry. Now you want to set this out of the sun, if you can, uh, to air dry before you put it away in the mass bag uh, for storage. And that's how simple that is. Very easy. Now that we've gone through the details of diving the Guardian full face mask, let's just review some of the basic points. You always want to inspect the mask to make sure it's in good shape, that it's not damaged, that the regulator locks into place. Give it a good pull test to make sure that the regulator does not come out. If you've got your ABV open, you're going to be using it when you get, to, uh, when you get ready to get into the water, so you have it open. Make sure you close it before you get in. Make sure that your mask straps are fully extended. You never pre-adjust your mask straps. Check on the inside the position of the microphone. Make sure it's where we talked about it uh, earlier as well, that it's right off the side of your lip so it picks up your, your voice very well. Your uh, push pad on the inside should be in the position that, you, that it, it properly engages your nostrils so that you can equalize. Now when you go to drop the mask over your face, you want to make sure that you pull, you, you pull the mask straps uh, out, make sure that they're fully extended. Ex open up the mask straps, drop it down over your head. You're going to tighten the jaw straps first, the temple strap second, and little if at all are you going to tighten that top strap. Remember, the top strap is not your friend. Don't over tighten the top strap. Wiggle the mask in. It should be nice and comfortable. You should get a, a good seal. Make sure that there's no hair stuck in the mask and make sure that your hood is out from underneath the seal as well. It has to seal directly to your face. You should have a good, comfortable dive with this. It should be, uh, should be nice and comfortable on your face. Breathe naturally. Always make sure you turn your air on before you make your entry. Then you do your giant stride and get in the water.